Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, so my name is Julia Zangrilli, and I am um, doing a how to make a three ingredient perfume. Around the time that perfumery was really getting big, people would take extractions from animals. And I think that perhaps their natural stench was so much more apparent. The animalics were very just natural. This one is called civet. This is actually the anal gland of a Himalayan like mountain creature. This is synthetic, by the way. That's not a real one. And <clears throat> like full force, they're really intense. But you think about it in like a little bit of a drop. It just deepens and highlights things in a strange way. So these are two basic structures to play around with when you're making a fragrance. The green represents the top notes, and those are citruses and certain spices. And then the purple represents the heart notes, so that's mostly florals and some spices and some greens. The last, the red-orange one, is base notes. So those are musks, those are woods, different kinds of mossy greens, and certain animalic notes as well, which you're probably not gonna work with because those are kind of illegal. So I used three bases just to see which one I liked more. I'm gonna go with cedar wood right now. So cedar as the base, and then rose as the heart, and then bergamot as the top. So you can tell if something goes together or not. I'm just gonna take the cedar wood and dip it, do the same to the others, and then you can get an idea of if they go together. So these are really nice for me. If you just like wave it, it's kind of fun. If you don't have a scale, four drops with one of these kind of pipettes, that will equal about 0.1 grams. If you have controlled drops that are not too big and not too small, that will take you point gram for point gram. So you go one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna do 0.6 of the rose absolute. And this is all um, diluted, so this is 10%. So I'm gonna bring this up to 1.7. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to top it off with 0.3 of bergamot. And then you just kind of whirl it around and ideally, you want the materials to macerate together for at least a week because it's kind of crazy how much they affect each other. So I'm gonna call this cedar rose. And then the fun part, take a tester paper, give it a good dip. You just kind of, <laughs> like, uh, just see if you like it pretty much. And you can tell if something's too strong or if it's too light. And this one's really nicely balanced. It's not too floral. The cedar comes out. It's like a nice, chill perfume. <laughs>